what's up guys welcome back to the salmon fam channel so um i just want to do a quick little tutorial on this little bow that i made um, with the little unicorn in the middle um this is made from that gold vinyl that i told you that i had in one of my other videos it's a, like a giant roll um so i was just trying to find ways to use some of it up because i literally have a huge roll of it so I'm just going to use my punch board and this is an 11 and a half by one inch um, strip of the vinyl. Um, there's a lot of tutorials on making these type of bows already but um, I figure I'll just give a quick one. So you just fold it in half, find the center, um, punch the center part out. Um, I kind of cut me punching it out because it is a thick like a wall vinyl. And um, it's really hard to cut with the punch board, so I have to hit it a few times. So then you're going to slide it down to um, three and a quarter, and then punch, flip it, um, three and a quarter, and then punch. And then flip it to the other side, three and a quarter, and then punch again. Flip, three and a quarter, and then punch again. And you probably will see me do a lot of um, projects coming up with this vinyl. I'm trying to like use as much as I can because there's like so much. I don't even think I will be able to use it all up, but I'm trying to. Um, so you just punch out the little corners right there. Just line it up to the middle and just punch the corner out. And then um, if you have if you're using paper, you don't have to do this, but this vinyl is like pretty thick. So I just went in and cleaned up the edges where it didn't like cut all the way through. And this isn't crafting vinyl, but you could use like actual like crafting kind of vinyl to do this. It might be a little bit easier. Um, so I'm just taking my scissors and kind of shaping it out a little bit just so it could fold nicely. And there's that. <clears throat> and then you're going to take a one inch by four inch strip and just make your little tails. Just place it in the center and punch it. And again, punch it again. Then you have your little tail and then slide over to the two mark and then punch in the middle, flip it and then punch again. And that is going to be your little tail part. So again, I'm just going to clean it up. And that's pretty much it. So now you're just going to piece everything together and I'm using hot glue for this. And you'll kind of see all the spots where where you um, glue it together. Like I said, this is an old way of like making bows. I think everybody uses dies pretty much now. Um, but I do like using the punch board. Um, I don't know. I feel like it has a little bit more dimension in it, I guess. I don't know. Because you could do like the double bow. Um, this is the one that I'm doing. Or you could do just the single bow. Cleaning it up again on the edges. And then it looks like that. And then you're going to, that's how you're going to fold it like that. So it'll be like the double bow. And then just add some glue. And there's um, a few tutorials that I watched to learn how to make like the double bow with the punch board. Um, so I don't really have one in particular to name. I watched like a bunch of them when I first got my punch board um, because that's what I really wanted to make with the punch board. That's why I got it. 
So you're going to just put some glue in the center on your little tail and then just line it up. Okay. And that is the bow. And you're just going to take um, whatever you want to put in the middle. You could put like a rhinestone, a sticker, anything you want. So I just got my sticker book out and um, I used the unicorn one on the other one. So I'm going to use the mermaid one on this one. And there it is. Super, super cute. So um, I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up, um, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.